<laughs> we're we're right of the age group that the attitude era was like right in our wheel spot. You know, we're both 34 years old. I your storyline I for my money is the best storyline in WWE history. The fact that they, you know, teased it for so long, Paul Bearer saying I'm going to reveal Undertaker's darkest secret and it's you his his half brother when you the build up to that cuz they put you on ice for a while, right? Mm -hmm. how, how what yeah. is that what does that uh, look like when you're sitting there watching raw or watching pay-per-views knowing that this storyline eventually you're going to be revealed, but you have to sit there and wait. Yeah, it was uh it was very nerve wracking. Um, and I agree with you. Uh, it was the best story WWE has ever done. Not because of what I did, but because they did such a great job telling the no, story. No, like you were said, part you know, of it. Well, it's still, yeah. I mean, you have, you know, for months before uh, Kane Every Day Views, you, know, you have Paul Bearer talking about it, and you have all this backstory, and, you know, and yeah, all this stuff is building up. And of course, you know, I'd had, you know, a couple characters that we won't mention that hadn't been necessarily overly successful. Um, so I was, there was, there was some pressure, man. You yeah. Know? And a lot of it was, even my debut was, was just you really just don't mess this up. Were you, you worried know? about the, the <laughs> yeah. when you ripped the the, uh, well, the door I, I, off? I wasn't worried about that. I was I was more worried about the uh, the tombstone and yeah, making sure that looked that's good. That's true. Um, but yeah, it, it, it was pretty nerve wracking because there was so much emphasis put on it. You know, an Undertaker is just you know a huge star, and I'm getting thrown right into the mix with him, of course, and. Uh, it was uh yeah it was it was a little nerve wracking it, and, and it works so perfectly too because you guys were such similar sizes yeah. where mm -hmm. you see it and you're like oh my god they actually are brothers you know yeah. my 12 year old brain or whatever it was however old I was was like this is actually true he did he thought he died in a fire right. but he's not he's right. back yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah 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 the story was it was magnificent mm -hmm. you know the best oh, of all really time yeah. yeah it really is it was also pretty helpful that you got to share the same moves too so you knew oh, yeah. the moves that already were gonna work <laughs> yeah exactly that were gonna be fan favorites yeah so. and, and of course you know that was that was part of it too i mean you know it was uh in in some ways kane was uh either mocking or paying tribute to his brother the undertaker right by uh -huh. doing the same stuff that he did uh and then you know we designed that all on purpose but yeah uh I, I didn't have to invent anything i could you know uh it was kind of ready made already what um so when you burned him alive was that um real that was crazy which one was jr when were, no when you burned undertaker alive in the casket oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. That was fucked up. <laughs> I mean, it was. <laughs> so, uh, um, you know, we, we it, it, there there was a lot of uh, uh, smoke and mirrors involved with that. Yeah, and, I still don't understand work. how Undertaker uh, okay. got out of that. Um, yeah, but you know, the thing was that um, we we used uh, they used lighter fluid. Uh, was, yeah, was the actual accelerant, um, but. They uh, they didn't tell me how much that they had used. Used so, a lot. Yeah, yeah. It ended up being a lot more and a little more spectacular flame than I thought that it was going to. And yes. to this day, the, uh, evidently the arena there was, still remembers that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you lit a full fire in the arena. Yeah. It's crazy that they let you do that. It's good. Yeah, like, well, it was it was all controlled environment. Yeah, it was but all, that's something I know. feel like it doesn't happen anymore like that. That's the true attitude error. Lawyers where you get involved too yeah, much. Yeah, you get away with yeah. stuff. that's well, like, wow. You know, like I said, it was uh, it, it was it was pretty controlled. Old. Yeah, you know, we had yeah. safety measures. In yeah, place. it's controlled fire. Exactly. Yeah. Were there ever any uh, any storylines or stunts that when they're presenting to you and they're like, "Kane, this is what we have planned for this week," that you said, "I don't know about that. That might be too far for me." Um, in almost everything, um, you know, sometimes you would hear the concept and you'd be like, uh, "Okay, you know, how are we going to do that?" Uh, but there was there was a lot of planning put into stuff you know and our safety was you know was paramount um but even like the the first uh inferno match right you know um and i, I talk about it in the book but basically i'm gonna get have my arm lit on fire mm -hmm. okay, that's um that's not really a natural thing to do right well unless so, you're born from fire well i know but i'm glenn isn't I mean, yeah, well, i'm just saying it's <laughs> hard anyway, for you to be like i yeah, don't want to do it it's like it, dude you were born from fire so, so we have uh we have hollywood stunt people come in and we're rehearsing that day and they're like so you guys are gonna do this real time right I'm like yeah it's like man it took us weeks to set this up i'm like oh that's boy, not what you want no exactly yeah. <laughs> and so we did uh we did a rehearse burn outside where they you know they put everything on and i'm looking at my arm and there's like you know there's like real fire on it and you know they're telling me i go to move like oh, don't, 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 don't do that you got to move this way you have to keep your arm behind you because if you move into it you could inhale the flames right yeah. don't, yeah. don't so here's put the fire in your face exactly right. but they here's don't the tell thing. you that before you do it yeah here's the thing so i have to go out and have like a 20 minute match do all this stuff then 
you know, do this stunt that I've never done before except in a rehearsal in front of a live audience of 15,000 people with millions out watching on pay-per-view, and I have to keep all this stuff straight in my mind, right? Yeah. So, you know, uh, it was you know, stuff like that. That That's – that's one of the biggest things that separates, I think, uh, WWE from every other form of entertainment is one second you're doing a promo, the next second you have a match, the next second you're doing something else, and the next second you're doing a stunt. And you have to be able to keep all of that stuff in mind and track, do everything safely, um, and do it in front of a live audience. Right. And I think we're the only entertainers in the world that have that sort of uh, multitasking that is demanded of us on a pretty regular basis. Yeah.